Hello, uh, Terence Baker, Senior Reporter Europe for Hotel News Now. We're at the International Hotel Investment Forum in Berlin. Very honoured to have John Kidd. Pleasure. Pleased to meet you, Terence. President, COO and CEO of Radisson Hospitality Inc., which was rebranded today from Carlson & Carlson Residor. It's master franchiser in Europe, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. So you assumed a role uh, at um, Carlson Hotels, now Radisson, mm. last May after some internal reorganisation. And of course H&A keeps being mentioned time mm. and time again as your, your owner mm. and Carlson Residor is one of their major stockholders. Mm. Were you brought here to steady the boat? Did it need steadying? Mm. And, and what's your role? Mm. Right, it's, <coughs> it's a very good question because when I, when I arrived uh, uh, in May last year we, we found a company that uh, had tremendous uh, roots, uh, great entrepreneurial spirit, but um, indeed, uh, in terms of the metrics that uh, you measure yourself against in the industry, uh, we found that we had a lot of areas where we really needed to improve and improve in a hurry if the company was uh, going to carry on and, and, and improve. So we measured ourselves against those companies. We found where we were most wanting. Uh, we put together a, a very robust uh, strategic plan of, for the next five years which covers about 25 initiatives, which are designed to close all of those gaps and bring us right up to uh, a competitive level. We had to really change the way we were doing things. So we had to say to ourselves, first of all, we want to put our hotels first. Secondly, simplify how we work, because it was very complicated and convoluted in the traditional uh, system and to become better financial stewards. Now, that doesn't mean uh, better cost cutters, that means handling our finances and, and caring for the finances well over time. And that would make us the first choice of customers, investors, owners, um, and our talent uh, wanting to, to join our company. So all of this is designed to, over the very long term, lead us to our main goal, which is to become one of the top three hotel companies in this uh, industry. But to do that, we realized we seriously had to uh, change the way we think, change the way we plan, and ultimately change the way we work. And uh, so far, everything's going well to plan. Um, obviously, business links, I mean, with Carlson Residor, now Radisson, um, mm. Federico Gonzalez Tejera was the CEO of Carlson before you were. Mm. I mean, what, are, what are your plans to work with them in Europe and, and to grow the portfolio? Because some of those brands, Radisson Red and Radisson Blue, are ripe mm. for expansion in Europe, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, we, we have clear goals in mind. And one of the first ones that I can say uh, uh, very uh, solidly is that we're going to move our company from uh, having 185,000 rooms now, today, to in five years' time, having at least 255,000. Um, so it's prodigious growth. Um, and the way we're looking at doing that is, as you've correctly stated, Terence, is that we have two companies that are, very, that are different, um, but we have intertwined shareholdings. So we have the Radisson Hospitality Inc., that's me in Minneapolis in the US, and we have the Radisson Hospitality AB, which is the Residor side of the equation in, in Brussels. And how do we manage to, to get that all together? Well, we've created a global steering committee. And Federico Gonzalez, who you mentioned just now, he's the chairman of that committee. And the committee consists of six individuals, um, three from each side of uh, the three of the companies, the two companies, where we meet regularly and discuss all issues that are critical to the company. We advise our two boards, because we report to two very independent boards, um, on all things that are important to the company. And that's done uh, in th basically three ways. The first thing is to provide um, guidance and strategic counsel to the management teams and to the board of directors themselves. The second is to enhance the collaboration and cooperation, which in the past, when the company was, was previously operated, there was a bit of animosity on both sides. It was just a pure business decision and there was no um, fondness for cooperating. And then as an extension from that collaboration and, and cooperation is strategic alignment. So that Fede and I and our teams are totally aligned on what we want to achieve in the future. And of course that is, is uh, to H&A's benefit over the long term as well. So all of this is, um, comes to a head when we talk about the change of the company to the Radisson Hotel Group. That name with our five-year plan 
is going to drive growth. And it becomes all about the growth. And that's why we're intending over the next five years in Europe, Middle East, Asia, uh, Africa, sorry, um, to grow our room count by about 13, 14,000 rooms. Okay. And in the Americas uh, and Asia Pacific to grow it by about another 56, 57,000 uh, rooms. I mean, so we, we in the industry obviously understand things like master franchise. So the guest, the guest does not. Yes. So is the reorganization of the Radisson Hotels Group from these two other entities, what's that say to the guests? Because presumably that's a more obvious sales point to them mm. and and you know what gaps do you feel are in those eight brands are there any gaps in in your portfolio mm. that you would like to look at look, in, look into well that's the, first of all if we look at the the name aspect um we were to us it was very apparent last year when we were doing our planning that the name carlson residor did not resonate with our customers or our owners because it had no brand meaning right. So that's why we, we were um, very quickly came to the decision to use Radisson as the core name for our company going forward. Um, as you know, there are a lot of big companies out there now, and some of them very big in our industry, mm -hmm. that have maybe 20, 30 brands. It's just, um, it's huge, it's admirable. Um, they're brilliant companies, but um, we feel that, that that becomes a little bit confusing. And we have eight brands that we're polishing, we're improving, um, and we're going to the owners. And in America, we're only going with five brands in the beginning. Um, and saying to the owners that we're going to give you a different proposition. Instead of signing a hotel with us, and then we put another two, three other brands of our, our stable in the same street um, and, and, and dilute business from you, we're going to give you our brand in the street and we will not be competing with you in that location. Mm -hmm. That will give you a competitive advantage. So the pie is slightly smaller, but you get a bigger piece of it. Right. So we can't compete head on with um, the likes of, of the companies that have so many brands, and that's not our intention. We feel that by uh, polishing the brands, specializing how we approach the market, um, we should have a much better chance of actually getting to the market that way. And lastly, we are at the International Hotel Investment Forum in Europe. What specifically do you want to grow in terms of the brands in Europe and, and your five-year strategic plan to get to, to that place you want to be in Europe? Um, the core essence of our five-year plan and what came out of it was the, the concept of every moment matters. And that sounds cliche, it sounds trite, but what we're saying is that we know that guests want an experience. It's not just a bed or a cup of tea. They want, to, they want their emotions to be touched. They want that experience to go away with. So we are going to underpin our company, Redison Hotel Group, the go-to market company name, um, our brands, our uh, commercial drivers like uh, Radisson Rewards and uh, soon to be coming the Radisson Meetings with the concept of every moment matters. So that people can feel that we will be their host, um, the customers, and that owners can feel that we will be their best partners uh, in order to drive that. We have this the five-year plan, and we are we've launched it on the first of January, and we're following up. We are actioning things week by week and following up on it every four to five weeks. So we have a great team, which we've built as well in conjunction with the plan, management team, leadership team, and the talent that they have reporting to them to drive this plan. So in five years' time, it's dramatically different? I would country. say before that, Terence, I think uh, I'm confident that within, by the end of next year, 2019, you're going to see a dramatic transformation, um, not only in um, the, the quality of the brands, but also the commercial drivers of those, so our systems. The systems are critical to this, mm -hmm. whole, this whole package. We were very far behind. Um, our competitors when it came to systems. So what we're doing with all of that, I think is pretty obvious, we're making the owners number one, because we have to appeal to them. Because without owners, we have no business. So we have to make sure what resonates most with them. We will show them demonstrably that you are getting much more value now and definitely over the next couple of years as the investments roll out um, in, in what we believe in and you've been such good partners with us already, we, we are going to make sure that you don't regret that decision.
John Kidd, thank you very much for your time. Terence, thank you. Thank you very much. Hotel nice News to meet you. Now. Please stay tuned to www.hotelnewsnow for more coverage of IHIF and other events in the industry. Thank you.